anything drawn beautifully is beautiful. There's just a, when you have connected with an object that you're drawing or a scene, then it's yours. For Margaret Lindsay, there's nothing in this world that brings her more peace than her art. I just want to make a difference in people's lives and not just, uh, well, maybe educationally, but also allow them to have those contemplative moments, either by uh, seeing a painting, seeing a sunset, or just noticing that, that moment in time that's captured on the page. She is a true California girl born in the city of Inglewood, just 10 miles north of Torrance. Born to Charles and Virginia Smith, and uh, we lived up in Westchester, like I said. I had a, um, a great childhood. My mom was the Girl Scout leader. We did brownies and Girl Scouts. We went to church up there, went to Orville Wright Junior High School, and then Westchester High. Faith and education were important to Margaret growing up. She ran track, she was a straight-A student, and along the way she discovered what she was truly passionate about. As a kid, I loved to draw and color. Um, and then I was not really allowed to take very much art in school. My parents directed me more to math and science. But finally, in my senior year of high school, I was able to take a life drawing class. And that class, I really learned how to draw what I, what I could see and put what I saw on the page. And the experience that I had in that class did make me fall in love with art. Margaret was steered to study engineering like her father. She graduated top of her class in 1978 and was even crowned Miss Science and Class Valedictorian. She received a full scholarship through the Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps and attended the University of Southern California. I was good at math and science, so I just decided, well, engineering, I'd have more opportunities in the Air Force than with architecture. Um, but later in life, the architecture came back. She decided to continue her education by getting a master's degree in electrical engineering, deferring her commitment to serve in the Air Force for two years. That's also when she would meet her future husband. Um, we were good friends, study buddies all the way through. Um, and then just in our last semester of our senior year, uh, he asked me out. Margaret found that they had a lot in common and they spent a lot of time together. Education and faith were both very important to them. And it wasn't too long before he asked her to marry him. He sang me a song and asked me to marry him. And then we were married um, actually just a few days after I graduated with my master's degree. From graduation to getting married, now it was time to start her active duty. And lucky for her, she didn't have to move too far. At the time that he proposed to me, we didn't know where I was going to be stationed uh, in the Air Force, but he was prepared to go with me wherever because he realized he could get a job as an engineer wherever, wherever I would be stationed. El Segundo became their new home. Margaret managed contracts for satellite systems with aerospace companies in the area. After I served my tour of duty in the Air Force and my husband and I decided we wanted to have kids, I knew that I wanted to raise my own kids and I didn't want to work, so I decided not to continue in the aerospace industry. After serving in the military, Margaret decided to put all of her focus on raising her two children in Torrance. Very involved as a mom and especially involved in their education. They both went to a parent participation school up in Palos Verdes. Part of the program includes bringing the parents into the classroom. Margaret was able to teach her children and other students math, science, and art throughout the years. I always say I've, I've always worked but never got paid because uh, of all of the commitments that helping the, the children. That was a time that I really enjoyed contributing to the education of my children and the, and the school. As her children got older, Margaret found time to get back to her passion, her love of the arts, and the architecture would come back after all. Find out how Margaret steers away from engineering and uses her artistry to propel herself into a new career when we come back after the break.
Margaret, a stay-at-home mom and Torrance resident, would leave behind a career in aerospace and engineering to fulfill her love of the arts. And it'd be here in downtown Torrance that would offer her the opportunities to work with local artists, collectors, and art enthusiasts, making her dreams a reality. Transitioning from her career as an engineer in aerospace, she began devoting most of her time to various aspects of the arts. Prior to opening Destination Art in 2014, Margaret found herself getting the necessary skills to develop her craft, and even found a way to bring pastel artists from all over Los Angeles together through another nonprofit she helped found. All this to get her ready for what she says she was destined to do. My husband gave me the opportunity to go spend a week becoming certified to teach drawing on the right side of the brain and that was just a huge gift to me. Margaret became certified to teach this technique by Dr. Betty Edwards, an American art teacher and author, well known for her drawing methods. This gave Margaret the confidence she needed to pursue this new chapter in her life. And that was really the start of my art career in the sense that it gave me some validation of saying, you know, yes, you have a credential and you have a, um, you're, you're good at this, and then to keep going. Margaret also used her artistry to completely redesign her home, a project she's wanted to do since she bought her house in 1992. We acted as the general contractors and uh, lined up all the subcontractors and um, built the house. It, we tore it completely down and built it again, but uh, I, I've always loved art, but it was overshadowed by the engineering and, and other responsibilities. With her certification, she went on to teach students at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center, Long Beach Parks and Recreation Department, and even taught private lessons. At first, I used the medium of pe colored pencils, and I uh, got all the way to the national level uh, uh, show for the, colored, for the Colored Pencil Society of America. But there was one medium that Margaret loved more than any other to help create her pieces. The luminosity of the, of the pastel as it goes on the page, it's really a pastel is pure pigment that's in a stick form and uh, it was so much quicker to fill the page than the colored pencil. The colored pencil was so tedious that I just fell in love with pastel and she let the world around her become her inspiration. I, I like landscapes, just the feeling of peace again or the feeling of um, nature and finding that natural beauty, abundance in nature, and then capturing that moment in time uh, on the page. And especially the light, seeing what the light does to the various landscapes and trying to portray the the reflections and the shadows, the colors that the light brings to the scene. Pastels became such a big part of her career that she wanted to learn everything she could about it. And she even attended the International Association of Pastel Society Convention in Albuquerque, New Mexico, held every two years. And the first time we went there, we were just thrilled. There were people there talking about pastels, doing demonstrations on pastels, workshops, we were just ex so excited. So we, on the way home in that plane, we wrote the business plan for the Pastel Society of Southern California. And then we, we, we started it in 2009. And just like that, a nonprofit organization was born. This was a way to bring amazing pastel instructors from all over the world to the South Bay to hold workshops and classes. But Margaret still wanted to do more. We realized that we wanted a place where we could show the work of the local artists. We ra had to raise some money to initial, get our initial expenses. Then it took us a long time to find just the right place because we had to find a place that we could afford that was big enough for us to have studios and a gallery. Coming up with the idea was easy. Execution, as Margaret learned, would be much harder. From getting the right permits, to fundraising, to finding a location, starting this organization was far from smooth sailing. The, uh, the hardest thing was either finding a place that was uh, affordable or a place that didn't need too much work. Uh, many of the warehouses that we saw were in such 
uh, a state of disrepair that it would have taken us just incredible amounts of money to put it into the shape that was able to be used for studios and a gallery. And after seeing multiple spaces, she found the perfect warehouse at Old Town Tours and transformed it into Destination Arch. Another person who was an architect who helped with the floor plan and allocating the space and dividing up the studios and then we built these walls. These walls are on wheels and they can move so we can reconfigure right. the space. Our mission here is really to elevate the place of the local artist in the community and to, to show the importance of art in everyday life, to be surrounded with color and beauty and how that uplifts the spirit. And we're, we're on a mission to um, have the, all, of, all of Torrance enjoy art. And we have artists from all over the South Bay, so we wanted a place that was central. We liked the idea of being part of downtown Torrance to be kind of wanting to bring life and spirit to the downtown here. All of the artists rent studio spaces in the warehouse. Classes and workshops are held on a monthly basis and members have a platform to sell their art. We're a group of artists, we're all volunteers. No, no one gets paid and we're uh, to running a business with a group of volunteers. And while Margaret created Destination Art from the ground up, her husband was there by her side every step of the way. My husband is so supportive. Anything that having to do with art, he's very happy to help me achieve it. And uh, he, he believes that being an artist is really more what I was called to do, so he's really willing to help me uh, in that endeavor. Um, and he's, like I said, he comes over to help with uh, any IT problems or helps us when we have a physical problem, but um, he's very supportive of me uh, being the director here. All of her dedication and efforts were recognized by the city in 2016. Last year we won the Torrance Advantage Award for enriching the community uh, for that very reason of bringing in uh, people from outside the area and en enriching the community through art. Destination Art has become an attraction for many out-of-towners looking to participate in workshops put on by various instructors. She hopes to team up with another growing trend of businesses popping up all over Torrance new ways we want to do um, something with the breweries in Torrance to uh, put either put art in the breweries or have them come here. We're always looking for ways to be involved with uh, the different businesses here in downtown Torrance. Art Walk was created in 2014, a fun night out to connect residents with local artists, giving them a chance to tour the studios and check out what Destination Art is all about. The reasons that we created Destination Art was so that we would have a venue to actually sell paintings to, uh, to patrons and to new collectors. And that's a thrill because not only creating the art, but when somebody else sees the art and it touches their heart and it means something to them in some way or it catches their attention, that is a, uh, that's sort of the, the icing on the cake. It brings it full circle back from something that started in my heart that I put on the page, somebody else resonates with it and is touched by it. And at the end of the day, Margaret just wants to create beautiful art. Well, I came uh, just the other day, I came in with the express purpose that I'm going to paint and not worry about any of the business or anything that needs to be done and I had the best day. As the co-founder of Destination Art, Margaret Lindsay continues to share her love of the art with the South Bay. There are 12 artists who support the nonprofit by renting studio spaces. Classes are taught by award-winning artists on a weekly basis, including drawing, painting, watercolor, photography, and so much more. The beautiful space is available for rental for private gatherings like wine and canvas parties, and there are generally 50 diverse pieces of art on exhibit at any given time all over the studio. Margaret says she still has a lot of work to do, but this is her gift to the world. For Faces of Torrance, I'm your host, Jesse Pierre, speaking to ordinary people doing extraordinary things.